Elsewhere, Interior Principal uh, Karanja uh, Kibicho is uh, currently at the Directorate of Criminal Investigations headquarters to record a statement over allegations levelled against him by former Nairobi Governor Mike Sonko. Sonko claims that Kibicho participated in fanning chaos in Nairobi during the 2017 elections. All right, let's uh, take you to Leila Mohammed now, who's on the ground uh, with more details. Leila, what can you tell us? Well, the first important thing is that uh, Karanja Kibicho, the PS for Interior, is already at the Directorate of Criminal Investigations here at the DCI headquarters in Kiambu Road. He arrived here like 20 or 30 minutes ago and was received by officers here. And he is expected to shed more light on the allegations laid against him by former Nairobi governor Mike Mbuvi Sonko, whose sentiments seem to insinuate the existence of a deep state that has been engaging in dirty politics across the country. And uh, this latest flare-up of, of statements by the former Nairobi governor seems to put uh, uh, the handshake in, in, in trouble and in drama simply stating that they participated in an act that was indifferent uh, at a time when the, the, the country was in a position uh, to be in, 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 in high tense, intense situation, which brought about the whole issue of uh, the handshake on March 9th. 2018. However, Kibicho has not been in a position to speak to the media. We are standing by outside to wait upon him, uh, maybe to leave the vicinity of this area and try and get a comment from him about those allegations. But at the moment, we are just uh, waiting uh, for that moment when we see him leave this area and uh, get a bit more details of what might have uh, uh, transpired. Remember, this is the second individual to come here after uh, allegations laid against them in a public rally that is uh, 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 coordinated by the, the teams uh, that have been in the Tanga Tanga side of uh, the public divide and all the political divide. Uh, last week we saw former Vice President uh, Kalonzo Musioka also come here based on allegations that were said by the current de Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya. So maybe this could be a pattern going on of maybe them uh, the political sphere trying to change uh, goals and positions in how the politics of 2022 is uh, coming into shape. But however, we'll be in a position to bring you much more once we get much more information from here along Kiambu Road, Smriti.